Mr. George Alfred is a 69-year-old male with a history of COPD and lung cancer. He underwent a right lobectomy for lung cancer, followed by radiation therapy six months ago. He developed flu-like symptoms two weeks ago. He was brought to the emergency room with severe dyspnea and lethargy. He was diagnosed with pneumonia. He's now being admitted uh, to the hospice area. Uh, Dr. Knopp is his physician. Hi, George. How are you feeling? Good morning. My name is Elisa. Could you tell me your date of birth? We're both nurses, and we're going to be taking care of George today. George really sounds like he's having a hard time breathing. Yeah, and he's sweating. But I'm going to up his oxygen here. And I think I'll go ahead and page the doctor. He looks like he's in a lot of pain. Yeah, here, I'm going to grab this pillow. OK, George, how are you feeling? I'm going to lift you up here, OK? Let me take his vital signs. I'm just going to take your blood pressure. You OK, George? Is there something we can do? I mean, he's obviously in a lot of pain. Yes, we're going to go ahead and call. Dr. Knopp, I think, is coming right now. Hi, I'm Dr. Knopp. I was paged. Yes, Dr. Knopp. Um, we are taking care of Mr. George Alfred right here, mm -hmm. and he is in quite some discomfort right now. He is on a morphine drip of 12 milligrams per an hour right now. We were wondering if there was any other medication that can be given to help him feel more comfortable. Okay, let's go ahead and give him a two milligram morphine um, IV push right now and let's bump his basal rate up to um, 14, which is an increase of two, 14 per hour. Miss Alfred? Yeah. Okay. Do you feel like uh, your husband is feeling agitated or anxiety? I just want him to be comfortable and, and that was what we were promised. We come here and, and he can be comfortable. I understand this is a very difficult time for him and for you. We all have the same goal to make Mr. Alfred as comfortable as possible. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take his blood pressure. If you guys need anything else, uh, feel free to page me again. Karen, would you like some, we have hospital chaplains that maybe you could consult or something. Would you like to talk with one of them? Okay. But oftentimes in situations like these, family members forget to take care of themselves. Do you want us to get you some water or a small snack to eat? Uh, no, I, I appreciate that. I'm, I'm okay, but do you think we can clean him up? Oh, by far. George, you feeling okay? Look, there's an ice pack right here, okay? Oh, you got the ice pack. Yeah. I'm going to wipe off your forehead, okay? What are his vital signs so far? Um, his blood pressure is 110 over 68, which seems okay. And his SATs are 87, which that's what he was running this morning. Check his heart. So what, what comes next? I mean, we just keep him comfortable? And Very much. That is the goal. His heart rate is 75, so it's okay. I really would want to sit with him. I think at this point that would be okay. Uh, George, are you doing okay? Why is he talking about his mom? His mom died 20 years ago. Is this the end? I feel like maybe we should have done more. I know, this sure feels didn't. natural to blame yourself, but I think maybe you should just focus on being with him and not, don't blame yourself. I think I'm just going to stay here okay. with him. Yeah, here, let me grab you more Kleenexes. <laughs> the medication must be helping him because he, he feels a little more relaxed. Yeah, and that's good. That's what we want. Mm -hmm. It's nice to see that the medication is working. And that's all we wanted. I just don't want him to be in yeah. pain or, or suffer. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to listen to him one more time just to see how he's doing. According to the monitor, it looks like he's passed. Ugh. Could you go ahead and do me a favor and page Dr. Knopp? Is there anything that I can do for you? And also the hospital chaplain? We'll just let you be with him, okay? Thanks. Oh, it's for Thank Mr. You. Alford? Yes. In room 5278. Okay, Definitely. thank you. Mr. George passed away. I'm sorry for your loss. Would you mind if I took a quick listen? No, it's fine. Thank you. 
news for Dr. George Alford, who just passed away. He had terminal lung cancer, um, was admitted yesterday, and they've been here for about a bit of a day. His wife has been by his bedside. Miss Alford, passed away I'm sorry, he has died. Minutes. I'm crying. How are you doing? Would you like some time alone with your husband? I just want to sit here with him. Hi. Hi. Oh, goodness. What's your name? My name is 